welcome to a travel vlog. We're going to Poland for the first time ever. So we're going to Energylandia and Legendia, so we'll obviously have separate vlogs for those two. We're currently at Stansted Airport. Excited to fly for the first time in four years or so, we think. I think the last time was for Sweden. Um, yeah, well, I've had to throw away my bloody, some of my cosmetics in the old security. That was a bit of a, because we've used, yeah, we've used a bag before, 20 centimetre by 20 centimetre, but didn't, didn't fancy it this time. They didn't like it at all, so. Yeah, so a bit of a weird one, but um, yeah, we'll see, see what happens. Um, so on this video we'll show you like the journey over um, so as I said we are flying renting a car over there so that'll be interesting and then we'll grab some food bits and show that in this video and um, yeah should be pretty cool so let's fly Okay, we have arrived in Krakow. Um, we are looking for Enterprise Car Hire, which is somewhere um, here. We are now out. Uh, we are walking around. We've uh, we made it. Okay. Yeah, we've made it. We're gonna. We'll tell you about that later. Yeah, we'll tell you about that later. <laughs> uh, we're gonna ch have like a bit of a sort of chill day today, so do a bit of shopping, grab some food. We'll probably grab lunch in a minute at McDonald's. We'll grab something later for dinner. Um, so we've made a first little stop at Stokrotka, so let's give it a go. Oh, this looks good. It smells really good in here. It smells like salami and stuff. We found a cool selection of items here, like pick and mix of the Pistachmnesko, which I'm not going to, well, the pronunciation is bad on that, but yeah. Don't know exactly what we're looking at, but I think we'll just get a selection, won't we, Claire? Well, that one's Advocat. 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 I mean, it's a shame that I have this milk or caramel one it's separately. Tiramisu. Oh, tiramisu. We'll grab that one. Right, we found McDonald's, and this has to be one of the most awesome located McDonald's in the world. Because Energy Land, yeah, I mean, I, the direction of this video is awful, because the Energy Land is just behind this building, so. <laughs> yeah, look, there we go. Energy Land is right there, so it's awesome. <laughs> So we're now at the hotel, very lovely little place that it is. Um, I'll give you a little tour before I give you a huge update. Um, I think we're moving, we're not, we're not staying. Um, so yeah, here's the balcony, which is really nice. It is actually a really nice location and um, a nice room, just um, it's a bit old fashioned and there's no Wi-Fi, which it did say on the booking that there was Wi-Fi. So I'm a bit disappointed about that. That being said, it was 67 pounds for two nights. So we're just gonna sort of take the hit and we booked somewhere else. Annoyingly, the person who runs it was really lovely though, so we're just gonna have to bail, we're just gonna bail. I mean, the bathroom's nice enough, the bathroom's nice and clean, and decent and stuff, but yeah, now this other one looks more modern and should actually hopefully have internet. I think it's a bit closer to civilization where I'm the sticks a bit here. And there's a couple of stains on the bedding and stuff and not many plugs, the TV's weird. And it's the Wi-Fi, it's the Wi-Fi. Well guys, what an eventful day we've had so far. Yeah, so Claire's not been feeling amazing. You said you're feeling a little bit better now. Um, so we did change our plans somewhat today, which is almost might be a bit of a good thing that we did, to be honest. Basically, so, um, got to the airport, fine. Um, now, I should say actually, I've rewind. Before, sorting out the last few final bits this trip uh you know in the last week or so one of the things i looked up was boarding pass situation on uh ryanair 
and they needed a printed boarding pass. So I was like, oh my god, what the fuck? So I looked into it more. To, not on their website, by the way, it's n and it's not made clear. Ryanair did not make any of this clear, and that's obviously their tactics for upcharging the s slightest, smallest thing. That is their business plan. That is their business model. So they didn't make it clear, but you can actually download that app, and you can use the boarding pass on your app, which means you don't have to print it. We don't have a printer because we're not, you know, ancient. Um... You know, no one normal has a printer these days, guys. That's just a fact. Let us know in the comments below if that's true or not. Um, so anyway, we used the app. Uh, so I opened the app this morning, and it said, uh, you know, we didn't, we, we looked at the boards, and it didn't say a gate yet, but then our app updated before the boards did, and our app said gate 88. So we went down to gate 88. We were obviously at the airport three hours early. Uh, so we went down to our gate and we sat at our gate for about an hour and a half, probably something like that. Um, and it got close to, it got to the point where we were expecting to see our flight on the board next to gate 88. And by, you know, during this time, I have been refreshing the app, logging in and logging out of the app, just to make sure that it's definitely up to date and it's definitely still gate 88, which it was. Oh, it then got to like eight o'clock and our our boarding was due to close at 8.15. Got to eight o'clock and it wasn't on the board yet. I was like, this is definitely weird because on the app it says it's on time. It should definitely be on the board by now. So I went on the Stansted uh, website and on there it said gate 30. So I was like, and by this point we got like five minutes to get there because it's like 10 past eight. I was like, oh my God, Claire. So there was a mad rush. We ran, you know, the, literally the other end of the airport. We had to get a shuttle to the um, other side of the airport. And we did just about make it there in time. Uh, then it turns out it was actually delayed. We were stood up for a good 10 or 15 minutes yeah, anyway. So I think... Everyone was on the plane. Everyone was and then we saw a few of the other people who were sitting by gate 88 where we were, didn't we? Yeah, I definitely saw one other person that was sat by us. So he obviously had the same issue. Yeah, same issue. So yeah, I saw him get up, check the board, and then I'm, so he must have been like, "What the hell's going on?" Yeah, absolutely, path literally pathetic that that happened. Um, so yeah, actually, I'm going to sit down as well. Um, so yeah, that happened. Uh, flight was fine, wasn't it, Claire? Normal Ryanair affair, normal Ryanair business. Um, picking up the rental car, not too bad. Uh, we got a little bit <laughs> lost because um, we initially went out to the parking garage because uh, we didn't we completely somehow avoided to see the rental check-in desks at the airport fine so we eventually sorted all that out fine uh, car's really nice car's brand new it's done like 2,000 kilometers so it's really nice it's really it's a toyota yaris for any car nerds fine then we had mcdonald's which you saw a little bit of that we saw energylandia in fact when we were driving here to where we are now which i'll explain in a minute oh my god those are the best views of a theme park potentially that I've ever seen from like driving into it because you don't really get that same thing with some of our favourite parks like Magic Kingdom and Islands of Adventure. You don't really get that same view of it because they're so far away, well, you do you? Don't see Magic Kingdom at all, isn't it? Yeah. But... Whereas this, wide open flat spaces, these massive coasters in front of you, it looks like a stunning park, doesn't it, Claire? Um, so yeah, so the original plan is we were going to go there today uh, for a couple of hours, like three or four hours. Um, because Claire wasn't feeling super well today, wanted to give her a little bit of time to recover, rest, and then start the parks tomorrow, hopefully all, all being, well, we don't really have a choice. Because uh, we're only here for two, two days after today. Um, so one day will be sort of half Legendia and then half Energylandia, and then Friday will be all uh, Energylandia before we fly back on Friday evening. Anyway, guys, I'm sure you're wanting to know where we are. As you saw a minute ago, we took a little bit of footage from that hotel. I don't remember exactly what I went through, but basically, I booked on booking.com, and it said, you know, it looked perfect, it looked nice, it looked clean, uh, there was inter... Is this kind of way? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You probably just need to push the fridge mm. back. Um, so, said there was internet, said there was parking, checked it all out on Google Maps. This is what I do. Before trips like this, I check things out on Google Maps, make sure that it all looks good. This looked good. Parking, internet, looks clean, perfect. 
dirt cheap, £67 for two nights. I might go out here, absolute rustling. Oh, literally, she, she's actually, she's literally encouraging me to do so now. Pathetic. Oh, it is an absolutely stunning day though, to be fair. Um, yeah, sort of, lighting is not really very good here though. There we go, is that better? Yeah, that's probably better. Although there's a main road here now, none of this is ideal. Right, I've come to sit on the bed now. So, uh, although this makes me look weird, there we go. Even worse, I look like I'm in a hospital bed or something. Um, right, so guys, so we got there. First thing I heard before I actually saw the place, I was like, oh, I'm not sure about the music. Because I could hear weird music coming from it. Anyway, we pulled in, really nice, like old school, I think it's 17th century country house. So really nice. But there was this uh, old couple on the porch playing an accordion, fine. Um, so I was like, slightly weird, this is this is lovely in a way, uh, not in a way to me though, in a way. No, it was generally really nice to hear and see, but yeah, he played for a little bit and we were like, oh, hello. Uh, then we walked in, no sort of sign for reception or check-in desk or anything, so I was like, weird. So there was a little table with some energy lander leaflets on, so I opened the door that was next to that, someone's room, fine, um, sort of people in there, fine, so that was mental, um, and then again, just sort of looking around this house, looking for anyone, and eventually this woman comes out, and language barrier, no English speaking, fine, um, feelings mutual, because I don't speak Polish, but anyway, after a little bit of to and fro, and she figured out who I was, and we went up to the room, room, perfectly pleasant, vaguely, nice little balcony, Couple of spiders, you know, webs everywhere. Not everywhere, some places. Um, a couple of stains on the duvet and pillow. A bit old fashioned. No sort of leaflet about Wi-Fi or anything like that. Um, no, uh, or hardly no 4G reception and couldn't get on the internet. Uh, there was no internet, no Wi-Fi, despite booking.com saying there was Wi-Fi. So we were like, what? This is not perfect, man. So we went on booking.com, found this place, and booked this, and we basically did a dine and dash, didn't we, Claire? Uh, we have, uh, to be clear, it's not a dine and dash, we did pay, it was £67, non-refundable, so she's got our money, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, this place was £126, so we just had to bite the bullet on the, the money that we've lost, but I mean, this is just absolutely worlds apart. This place is completely automated, it's called the Rosa Rooms, immediately I would recommend it if you're staying in Poland slash Energy Land, yeah. Um, will you be able to see out there? Yeah, so completely automated. So this gate, you drive up to it and you get given the code for the gate. Enter the code and it automatically lets you in. No check-in service here because they've already texted you all of the information. Like on the drive over here, they'd already sent us all of the information that we needed. Um, so code for the front door and then code for our door. We've got fridge, it's all completely brand new. It smells of wood and Ikea. Um, the bed's perfectly comfortable with multiple pillows, which we didn't have at the other place. It's all more modern. I think I said about the fridge, the coffee facilities are better, and um, yeah, the bathroom is just perfect, really. The other place wasn't even that bad, especially the bathroom at the other place wasn't particularly bad at all, but just, and the main thing was the internet, of course. The double whammy here is that not only is our 4G absolutely fine here, but they're not lying about having the internet, which the other place was. Um, so yeah, we're all hooked up to the Wi-Fi, and that means we can watch Ms. Marvel and Obi-Wan Kenobi tonight. <sighs> Right, I'm exhausted after explaining all that to you. Does that catch them up, Claire? I think that covers everything. Um, yeah, maybe locked the car keys in the car. What have we got to stand instead? Nearly locked the car keys. Couldn't key. find your car keys. Oh, no, that... No, no, that wasn't... Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, the first thing that went... We didn't say about the first thing that went wrong. Pre-booked the parking, drove up, didn't recognise my plate. So I, 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 to be fair, I did make a mistake. I accidentally pressed the button when it tells you not to press the button if you pre-booked. Then the ticket came out. I refused to accept the ticket because I pre-booked, so I called for assistance. The barrier opened and the ticket flew out in the wind. I was like... So that's something to deal with when we get back. That will be, no doubt that'll be fun. But hey, we're looking forward to going to Legendia and Energy Landia tomorrow. We're hoping that Claire's going to feel 100% or at least, you know, bit better than she is today. You're getting there, you said. <coughs> mm. We'll have to see, hopefully. I mean, 
So, yeah, you'll be alright. So yeah, but um, don't know what we'll film next on this video. Hope you're enjoying it so far. It's probably just been a bit of a hotel madness slash slash. What should I call this video? Actually, like a uh, mad mental holiday in Poland or something like that. Um, yeah, but it seems really nice so far around Zeta. Definitely recommend Zeta. Forgot a few things. So, wanted to email the car parking to see, you know, sort out the problem. 30 day wait on customer service emails, cool, good. At the previous hotel, we also didn't have a blind on one of the sets of windows, so we would have just been waking up with the natural sunlight. Claire, you noticed full blackout ones here? You wouldn't think that'd be a, a big... But the thing is, this, this other one I booked had really good reviews, so... Maybe it was just, you know, people that are Yeah, like, dickheads. Not us. <laughs> yeah, not people, yeah, people who aren't us. Yeah, dickheads. And we had loads of toiletries taken off of us. Yeah, so, yeah, know, oh yeah, the last thing, yeah. Which was a wind up. Yeah, so, we're, butter the, vision. The bag, I put the Well, bag. hang on, so yeah, basically, so we had security, separately, obviously, and we each had a bag of toiletries, and basically mine, was 20 centimetre by 20 centimetre as they say and they also say you can't have more than a thousand litres or whatever, yeah. millilitres or whatever but he made me um, empty my bag and put it in a new bag yeah. um, and so as a result I lost basically because I didn't know what toiletries of Claire's because obviously I've got like four things I'm bringing Claire obviously had about sort of 25 <laughs> uh, no I'm not even joking um, so yeah I just threw away my four because I wouldn't, wouldn't have known what <laughs> to throw away Claire I feel like such a terrible human being Nah, it's all right. No, it wasn't 25, it's like, it's like 18. Oh, but my right. stuff is, I've got more expensive than uh, Yeah, correct, we just yeah, got some boots. Yeah, we repurchased it for you. So. Yeah, oh yeah, no, no, it's, you shouldn't have, I'll give you half towards it, so. Oh. Um, yeah, <laughs> half. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, but yeah, they threw them away. Unbelievable. So yeah, it's yeah, been... It's absolutely fine going for Sweden. Yeah, Sweden, Sweden yeah. So it's should, been very... I made sure that it, it, there was no more than a thousand mil. Yeah, exactly. It's been very rocky. And I measured the back. Yeah, I'm not letting me. Yeah. It's been it's very, very rocky. very rocky start, isn't it? But hopefully it'll get better now. I mean, it's already got better, to be honest. We're going to watch. Oh, what are we going to We're going to watch Miss Marvel and Novi One tonight, aren't we? Which I'm definitely excited for. What else tonight? Are we going to have a shower and clean oh, up be nice. before the, our programmes? Oh, Claire, I need to get that banana drink in the fridge. Oh happening? good, a nice cute moment it's waited oh, out. Look at, look at this, why is this happening to me? She put my drink in the fridge. Yeah, I got a, I reviewed a Tiger brand energy drink on Food Review a couple of months ago and was really impressed with it. I got it from a Polish store um, in England. And if uh, you smoke, you get an ashtray. If you smoke, you get an ashtray. That's good, I was just pointing that out. Um, yeah, it was really good, it was bubblegum flavour. And so we went into a shop called uh, Bien, Bien Drenka or something like that and um, we found a banana flavour one of the same brand, Tiger um, so it looks really nice so excited to try that so one thing we didn't properly do yesterday is actually show you the room yes it's now Thursday morning uh, we're just applying sun cream and lotions before our day at Parks Claire how are you feeling? Quite a bit better today, maybe. Yeah, so hopefully we'll be all right. See, see, don't you know? We'll see how you get on. Um, but yeah, we've got this nice little dresser slash wardrobe area, um, TV, um, facilities and an administration management area. Very nice long bed. I assume it's a sofa bed, but I don't actually know. Uh, nice blackout curtains, or not. There is a gap, so it's not total sort of blackout, but I mean the the actual thing doesn't let light through, so that's good. Um, bed's perfectly comfortable, would you say, Claire? Yeah. Uh, pillows on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I will say actually, I I did wake up a fair few times, uh, which normally happens when I sleep abroad, um, but not not too bad. Uh, yeah, the pillow just quite soft and light. It's just a load of rubble in there or whatever, like feathers or whatever. 
um, so it's like bit yes yeah, like bitty or whatever I don't know um, so not not my favorite kind of pillow uh, if we're driving anywhere I tend to take my own pillow but obviously you can't really do that when you're flying somewhere um, it's nice modern art yeah I guess so yeah you can just about kind of um, but yeah good space all completely modern all completely clean there's aircon there's a fridge in there um, and then bathroom is sort of um, I guess is this is this like a wet room style bathroom because yeah. you've got that um, bottom rim thing um, separating the shower um, area from the uh, here. Uh, so that's me. So yeah, it's fine. That seems fine. I'll just do one. Yeah, I think both of those, both of those seem fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, toilet area clean, all perfectly clean. Um, yeah, I think that's. I think that's it. It's just in a lovely location. Not sure how much we showed you yesterday, but as we said, it is all because it's all automated. You've got this automatic gate, which you put a key code in outside. Um, perfect. All this flat paving is all around the outside, so our car's just around the corner, and it's you know next to a road. But the windows seal really nicely that make it completely um, soundproof. Um, shall I close that now, Claire? Um, yeah, it's 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 perfect, really, isn't it? Better than the stainy, accordiony, um, lovely lady, yes, but stainy, accordiony, no Wi-Fi, um, spidery, uh, yeah. So better than yesterday's. Well, well, it's not even. I I can't even refer to it as yesterday's because we're only there for what <laughs> half a, forty-five minutes, probably. And the reason we were there for so long is just because we had no, that really patchy like 4G or 3G really it was dropping into. So finding a place took ages. Finding a place probably took 25 because it was, probably took 20 minutes maybe, 25 minutes. Because like we got there at first we were like yeah okay. Then we were like mm, not ideal. Then we found out about the, about the internet and then it was like um, oh, is this even tenable? Um, sort of, not really. Um, so yeah, then we, uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, no, actually, I don't think you can lock it from that side, can you? But best go out the front. Um, so yeah, we're now off to Legendia, so check out our separate vlog for Legendia. Um, and then after that, I think the plan is we're going to go to Energy Landia for sort of, we'll probably go to Legendia for a couple of hours, something like that. I don't think there's too much there. We'll see. Obviously, we'll see what queues are like. I think it's, the Feast of Camp Christus or something today, which sounds like something from Friday the 13th. Um, it's something like that. Um, so it's like a national holiday, so it remains to be seen how busy it is. Now, it was a national holiday near Movie Park Germany when, when we went there a few weeks ago, but um, it wasn't too bad there, was it, Claire? So, in fact, it was yeah. quiet. So, uh, I'm not gonna hold my breath here, though. I think maybe Camp Feast of Us is a bigger deal, and so maybe it'll be busier at Legendia. Um, but we'll see, they've only got really one must-do attraction, so as long as we get on that, I'll be pretty happy, have a nice walk around. Um, and actually, it does have the first ever inverted coaster, uh, sorry, incorrect, the first ever inverting roller coaster that I ever went on, which was at American Adventure, it used to be called Double Looper, has been relocated to this park. So that'll be obviously a really lovely thing to experience if we can going on the sort of ride that, that started my um, upside down roller coaster journey. So cool. Yeah, gonna be hot today. Sort of implied that that was the last clip we were gonna film before before we go. I'll just make sure that's shut actually. There we go, Rosa Rooms guys, big recommendation. As you can see, absolutely. Sort of looks brand new, doesn't it, Claire? Or at least very modern. Oh. Goodies. Um, yes, here's the old car. Here's the old car ski. Toyota Yaris. And as you can see, this is the area. Just stunning, isn't it? Gorgeous weather today as well. Uh, there we go. Yaris vibes. Um, cool. Let's go to Legendia. Wow, here's what Energy Landia looks like from uh, the back. Uh, absolutely amazing. I don't know how close we're going to get to it here. I think we might drive right past it actually. So try and give you some good views if we do. Uh, we drove past this way yesterday and it was just 
magnificent. Um, looking, um, looking forward to, we're planning to come in later actually, so um, yeah, should be absolutely fantastic. Wow. Wow, look at that. That is awesome, isn't it, Claire? Scary. Hyperion right by the entrance. Oh, people are there, look, they're parking in there. There's people parking there. So Claire, we've just finished at Energylandia. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna head back to the hotel now, Rosa Hotels. Obviously watch a separate video for Energylandia, classic. Um, but yeah, we've had a brilliant day, haven't we? At Legendia and Energylandia. Mm. Uh, one thing that we found out about this Camp Fist of Croesus was, was, was a holiday is um, that it means that I think shopping places are basically closed, so like supermarkets and that. So we can't really get any more shopping done probably for the rest of the trip really, because um, after we're going to Energylandia tomorrow, and then after that, we're going home. We're yeah. going to the airport. So uh, we'll, we'll obviously do some dawdling at the airport and find some shops and probably look at duty free and stuff, but no, no proper shopping really. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think the plan tonight is to go back to the hotel now or whatever it is, where we're staying. What do you call it? Apartment, no. Apartment, sort of, bed and breakfast really. hotel thing, kind yeah. Of. Yeah, it's hard to describe. Go out there, chill out for a bit. I'm like quite hot and stuff, so I want to have like rehydrate with some chilled refrigerated water and stuff. Um, catch up on messages on WhatsApp and stuff, and then have a look at what we're gonna have for dinner. Yes. And then we'll travel back out for dinner, go and grab it and come back. And I've floated with the idea of Claire that maybe McDonald's breakfast for, for tomorrow. So Let's we'll have, look at the menu. yeah, we'll have a look at the McDonald's uh, breakfast menu. It's not a thunder, it is a roller coaster. Yeah, it's wonderful hearing that roar of roller coasters, isn't it? That's sick. Here we go, a little construction update for Sweet Valley. Choo choo. We are actually on the road that goes through Energy There's Land, some animal there, what is that? That oh, dog? That's like a dog, is that, do you think that's a stray dog? Oh, could be. Wild poor dog. little feet. Oh, it does look like a poor little face. Oh my god. Yeah, Sweet Valley looks awesome, it's all this bit here, it looks really oh, I can't really want to see it. Yeah, but yeah, nice. And, but we are literally driving right through past. We are literally driving through Energy Land here right now. Past Sardra. Very unique to drive through a theme park, basically. We're on the way to get to KFC. Awesome. Mayan there. Are you going to come on that tomorrow, Claire? What? Mayan. Oh, God, I don't want to. I cannot oh, stand SLCs. Sardra. Oh, my God. Wow, here we go, running alongside Energylandia. I think we're about to see the awesome, massive logo that they've got outside the park. Yep, which looks incredible. Oh, we're sort of the wrong side of that. I got oh, it. Oh, that is sick. That is sick. Sunny B. On the thing, and then we've got KF. KFC. <laughs> yeah. KFC, we've got. How is it, Claire? Nice. Oh. Sure. I would choose to put ketchup on a chicken banner. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> Interestingly, they only do drumsticks at KFC Poland, which is weird. As in, on the if you want on the bone, they only do drumsticks. So, yeah. Give it a go. <laughs> KFC Poland. It's not. It's not a bad meal. It's alright. Definitely wouldn't recommend it though. The drumsticks, not particularly good to be honest. Nice and juicy, but not crispy. Not much flavour. We got this thing called Grande Bites. <laughs> These things. Nice coating on the outside and nice and crispy on the outside. They're just pieces of breast. Slightly odd texture. It feels like they're very heavily marinated to make them, I don't know, it's hard to explain. <clears throat> But Claire was the one that really pointed out. They have a bit of a kick, yes, but they sort of don't have much flavour. Is there pepper in it? Yeah, it's just very little flavour whatsoever, isn't there, Claire? Right, you, as you say, it's just a bit of a heat to it. Where's the heat coming from? Oh, it'll be the marinade. You see how it was a bit orangey? It'd be the marinade and maybe the crispy batter. Yeah, not horrible. Not even bad. Not bad. And I had a twister wrap, right, which was um, like a teriyaki wrap, which had like teriyaki sauce, pineapple, and that was not too bad. Very different, very unique. I haven't I didn't had anything like that, so that was all right. But yeah, overall, wouldn't recommend KFC Poland. I think the, the McDonald's better was much nicer, I would say. 
Yeah. If you're going to have the... But I mean, it fills a hole. So. Yeah, it fills a hole. Um, and obviously we're uncultured. We just get the local fast food joints. Um, not even local. We get the, <laughs> we get the mean, chains. We come to these places to go to theme parks, not to... Can't be bothered yeah. to go to a sit-down restaurant. Correct. When you've been on your feet from yeah. ten to like six. Exactly, and also with these places where they've got the electronic ordering systems, just easy in it. So yeah, yeah. Don't go to KFC Poland. Would be my recommendation. <laughs> so we just finished our day at Energy Landia, day two. Um, had a lovely time. Really, really good day. Managed to tick off Zadra and a handful of other roller coaster credits. Uh, and we just ended the day looking at, we can't see it from here, you can just see coaches, but the, we've ended our day with the sign, looking at the sign and we did a little wrap up over there for our theme park excursion. Uh, we will take you on the journey home. We're now going to drive 35 minutes or so to Krakow Airport. Uh, we need to refuel, so we need to make sure that the rental car has got full petrol. But yeah, other than that, I don't think it's going to be too strenuous of a journey. So we'll take you with us. So this is the car that we had hired, a Toyota Yaris through Enterprise. Uh, that was all fairly straightforward. The car was fairly nice, uh, supposedly brand new, 2,000 kilometers um, on the clock. Uh, yeah, drive, drive all right. And um, the instructions back to here were quite straightforward. So it was all fairly pain-free and stress-free. So right, we're at the airport terminal parking, so we're going to go to the terminal, hand back the keys, and then we'll head to security, I guess, and we'll probably see you the other side of security in the departures lounge, I expect. Claire's going to take the water, because you can't... Oh, there we go. <laughs> people, some people in the world, Claire, do not... Oh, yeah, that's true. So we've arrived at the airport. We are at a place called So Coffee, and uh, we've got a coffee, and it is absolutely delicious. Let me just have some of that. Mmm, very nice indeed. Just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, we've chosen this So Coffee to sit in because it's a bit quieter and a bit calmer than the departure lounge area with lots of um, lots of not many seats. Lots of not many seats. Got about what? Two and a half hours? Uh, eight. Yeah, about two and a bit hours. Two and a bit hours. Seven no. eighteen. Seven eighteen. Yeah, two so hours. yeah, about two hours till we'll be boarding, won't it? Yeah. So not too bad. It's not a very big departure <clears throat> Yeah, not a very big departure lounge, not much here, but I'm gonna go to the toilet soon. I think we'll just chill out here, probably play a game of half then. What are you gonna do, Claire? Uh, our plane is delayed, we don't know by how long it's been, but um, yeah, we've been waiting around for quite a while. It's 5 to 10 now, it was supposed to fly at 5 past 10, so it might not be too badly delayed, eh, Claire? Yeah, exactly, yeah, just got to get everyone on. Um, so yeah, we'll see you on the flight, night flight. On your marks, get set, go. was roughly 0 0.8 miles, decent. We now got to contend with the car parking issue, or potential issue, of it not recognizing the number plate on the way in, so we'll see if I have to have an argument with someone, well, not an argument with someone, a discussion with someone at one o'clock. Banter, 
very, very, very good. No, these journeys are really good and definitely make you think, oh, this was definitely a worthwhile trip. That is one of the worst, no, that is the worst journey I've ever made in my life, I'll tell you about it in the morning. So I forgot to film anything the next day, but yeah, basically, so we got back to the UK, um, stressful through security and, you know, you just want to get out and get back to the car. Uh, we got back to the car and in the journey home, I must have just got hit with the worst hay fever I have ever experienced. Um, so the reason that I think I did actually get poorly after getting back from Poland, I actually got COVID, um, and uh, but but I don't think this was COVID uh, at this point because um, it felt like hay fever. Where I get with with my hay fever, I get very bunged up, um, sneezy, and an extremely tickly, irritable nose, and the roof of my mouth gets really tickly. And so basically what was happening, it was all of that, but just on steroids. And it was the roof of my mouth was so tickly. And that was affecting my uh, wisdom teeth, where my wisdom teeth came were coming through. Which apparently can get overly sensitive and is connected to sinuses or something. So when your sinuses get affected and sensitive, it can make your wisdom teeth hurt. So I should clarify, sorry, my wisdom teeth like sort of have been trying to come come up and go back down for years and years and years um so my face was aching because all four of my wisdom teeth that were trying to come through was just causing extreme pain and aching um but just my whole face was on tickle fire uh i was we were running out of tissues so i was blowing my nose constantly i was streaming i felt groggy i felt so bad and having to make this what was what should have been like an hour and a half journey but on top of that there were delays and not delays sorry there were closures on the m25 there were sections of the m25 that were closed so we had to come off of the m25 not only that google didn't seem to know about them so google was trying to put us back onto the m25 it tried to do that a few times and it was just horrendous that delayed it. it took roughly so i think roughly two hours in the end when it should have been less than an hour and a half uh when i felt absolutely dreadful um we were supposed to be going to the cinema in the morning uh we slept right through that um yeah and then uh, ended up getting covid after this so yeah not an ideal end not an ideal return back to the country but i'm fine now and feeling good and yeah, overall, we had a bloody amazing trip to Poland. I know this this video was a bit of a weird one, actually. A lot of sort of just talking about the mad events that we had. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.